Hey guys, today's video we are going to be testing my school's emergency generator. This generator in my school is what it keeps up the emergency loads in the building, like your life safety loads, fire alarm systems, and other life safety systems, as well as all of your essential lighting, which is your emergency lighting, which this powers those specific lighting control panels and feeds specific electrical panels that power your essential loads. The building's service is a 1200 amp, 600 347 volt service, and this generator does around, I think, 60 amps, give or take, I'm not 100% sure, at 600 volt, 347. This powers some things that are life safety that run on 600 volt, like your pressurization and exhaust smoke relief fans, and it also powers a couple transformers, so then that takes it down to 208, 120 volt to power all of the essential lighting, exit signs, and anything else that runs off the 120 volt. So once it's stepped down, that 60 amps goes a lot further once it's at 120 volt level, because as the voltage is stepped down, the amperage goes way up. So this is the generator, and here are your two transfer switches, your general backup power, and your life safety. You can look at the transfer switches right now. We see we have utility power. It's closed in on utility power and it's going to the load. If we spin around and look at the generator, we can see that our fuel is at 87%. You can see your temperature and your battery voltage. So this is the generator. It's powered by a four cylinder John Deere diesel. And this generator is a MTU generator. There's your generator head down there. This is where we leave the generator at 600 volt. Now that we look at the name plate, you can see that it's a 60 kW generator and that outputs 72 amps at 347 slash 600. So 72 amps doesn't sound like a lot, but it is fairly significant amount when it's at 600 volt because there's only a few things in this building that are actually emergency 600 volt. There's very few things that are powered at 600 volt in emergency. It's really just those exhaust fans. So everything else is stepped down to 12208. So that power will go a lot further as far as amperage at that point. So once it's stepped down to 12208, your amperage will be a lot higher to power all of the lighting and fire alarm systems, data that's kept going, all that sort of stuff. So this generator will run at 1800 RPM to hold 60 Hertz. So the way I'm going to run this test is I'm going to do it with an actual load transfer instead of just starting it up just to run. This will actually transfer the load. So everything that is powered off the generator in a power outage will be actually transferred over to generator power. However, it won't be quite as much of an interruption as regular power outage because usually what happens is your power is lost, the generator starts, and once it's up to speed and ready, the load switches onto generator. So usually you have a, a few second delay, probably up to around 10 seconds. However, in this case, because it's a test, our, our utility power isn't ever lost. Everything that is powered off utility power and not power off these transfer switches won't have any interruption but because this is a test when we start the test from the transfer switches the generator will start up and it won't actually transfer over until the generator is at full speed it's completely ready and it will get thrown from utility power over the generator so it will just be a, a slight click and it will click over you will barely even notice that the lights might just flicker a tiny bit for one second as it clicks over the generator and then once we transfer back over to utility power it'll be pretty well seamless because it's a test we never actually lost power and had to wait for the start it was already started when it transferred over if that makes sense so i should be able to run the test from our transfer switch here we can do a gen exercise test which is just what starts it, or utility power fail test, which will actually transfer the load. And I think these both should transfer. We can just do one and it should start up and transfer over. Pretty sure. Each transfer switch is obviously rated at 600 volt, 100 amps per transfer switch. I'm going to set up another camera just so I have a couple angles 
So once I start up this generator, every single emergency light in the school, every light that would be kept up in a power outage will slightly bump for a second when the transfer switches uh, switch over. But every other light, like your classroom lights that don't have any, and the majority of the gym lights and half the hallway lights, there will be no interruption. Just what just what's considered emergency lighting will bump for a second when the transfer switches transfer. I should have brought hearing protection, but I don't, so whatever. There is a slight delay, I know, with this, but I'm going to give it a shot here. Okay, I think you have to hold it for a second. There we go, we should be engaged. So once it's ready, the lights will flicker once it transfers. local emergency lighting off battery pack just in the electrical room and generator room. So you can see we still do have utility power because it's just a test and we also have generator power but it's not actually powered from utility it's just there so it's actually closed in on generator and going to the load that way. That's the same if we look at the life safety one. So the everything that is powered off generator right now is on generator. That's why the lights flickered. You can see the fire alarm module is active. That's odd, it's not active. Maybe it only shows up if the power's lost and the generator's actually on, I don't know. 
That's strange. Just learn something new, I guess. I guess it doesn't do it during a test.
kind of clunky. Anyways, very peaceful and full and quiet in here now. Fire alarm module is back turned off. So it must know the difference somehow between a test run like this. So it was a test, but it did have load on it, just like it would in any real power load, same amount of load, everything did transfer over. Uh, you can do a manual transfer if you wanted. Alrighty guys, that's it for this test. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, make sure to put them in the comments section. And if you uh, are interested, I have an Instagram account at Pickle700 for bonus content, content posted earlier, that sort of thing. Also, if you do enjoy my videos and want to see more of them, make sure to subscribe, that helped me out. Alright guys, thanks for watching.